Hello, I'm the one nerd, and I thought I'd do something a bit interesting. So um, I have a Quest 2 headset now, which I managed to obtain. So I wanted to test out a few of my previous VR projects with this headset before that make an interesting video. So without further ado, I'll just get it moving up. And then I'll just go through those different projects. Barrowlands, I'm not sure how, I'm pretty sure, I've already tested Barrowlands a little bit, which is a project I did a while ago, with mixed results, but it should be interesting, uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that, that should make for an interesting video. Uh, if, you've not, if you're new to my channel, it's mostly dev, game dev related, and some web dev stuff. Anyway, let's get into the virtual world, as it were, because I need to get this in my head. That's loading. Let's get up. H.O. Uh, I think as well. Yeah. Might take a while to load. It's taking a bit too long, really. And let's follow my account. Try Infinite Labyrinth, that should have a playable version. Yeah, there we go. So, this is like a generative maze tool that I created. It's A frame as well, so whilst I wait for that to load, I'll turn that off. Turn in VR mode. Get this into VR mode. Okay, I need to create a new boundary first. So. That's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ah, head. Yes, I know I need to do that. I'm still around with that. That's fine. Uh, that's okay. I'm moving. So, no. For some reason I can see the boundary. Okay, I don't need the controls now, so well, I need to hold them because I'm going to get confused. Mm, it works, I mean, the, the movement system works. Obviously, if I was going to be doing this properly, I'd need to uh, have like the ability to move my head around properly. So I'll just stand up, maybe, because I'm moving the boundary still. Just have to be careful when I do this. There you go, now I can turn around. There you go. So moving forward a bit. Yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. This actually works pretty well. It's quite a lot of swiveling around to do, you know. Not really in the ideal environment for 306 degrees of movement, but okay, let's try and find. I need to find like a there's a magic object that basically allows me to bomb into another maze. One thing I do notice, and I've also figured this out with Barrowlands as well, is that there's a lot of uh, 306 degrees of movement you have to do with this type of game, which is okay, but it can get a bit strenuous in the old neck. So that's one limitation of it. The one pro, pro, pro of this movement system is the fact that I don't need to have any... It's pretty good multiple support, like, so... You don't have to have, like, multiple, uh... What, what was I saying? No, I mean, it supports multiple uh, platforms just instantly. It's not platform-specific, which is quite good. So I have to be careful now to run it. Knock into anything. Let's try and get this, find this, look around a bit. Oh. There's, there's a lot of ways you could translate this into a game as well. Obviously, the whole point of this uh, component, which is available for two dollars and itch.io with the source code, you can play it for free, but the actual source code you have to pay for, obviously, because. Because I spent quite a lot of this time on this, so I'm just give it away for free. Sometimes it'd be like that. Right, so 
Okay, it's up here, so... It might be blocked by the water, there we go. We can move there. Yeah, there we go. So, if we get close to it, you can see from that blue light that it's somewhere around here. So that's an indicator of the shape. I'll try and just get to one, and then I'll show you the basic loop of the component library. Uh, okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. There's a bit of clipping issue there as well, so I need to go around here. Let's be a bit careful that I don't uh, accidentally bump into anything. I've created my boundary, but it's still a bit not the best environment to be doing this in. Okay, that's not here. Got lost. Okay, what I'll do actually, pause out of VR mode. I'll uh, refresh it and just get a new maze. Because obviously, like I said, every time you uh, every time you reload it, you're going to get a completely new maze. So that's yeah, a very much different one. Different kind of one, maze. So this one should allow me to illustrate that pretty rapidly, really. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Weird. The control system seems to have broken. I'm not sure why that was happening. Interesting. Okay, I'll try to reload again. Uh, resume. Is that working now? There we go. Now the movement's working. There we go. So that's the thing there. That's the. Oh, I need to click up, look at that anyway, and it should work. And then that should load in your maze. There we go. Nice work. This does actually work pretty well, and I'm being lucky because I'm getting really sparse mazes. So let's see if I get anything a bit more complicated. Nope. Similarly sparse. It is truly random in the sense, so I might get something really weird. But I'm starting off with fairly spaced out, very spaced out, in fact, in this one. Okay, there's a bit more geometry here. But there we go. Go. And I've ended up teleporting loads of times now, actually. So you get the rivers too on this, so that's quite an interesting feature. You do get like bodies of water, and now obviously I can't see where one is, so this one needs to be a bit more searching. There it is. Not much though. <laughs> okay, cool. When I demonstrated that, that one, that's actually reassuring because that works pretty well, actually. Clarity, I can move around, I can do the game features. So I'm just going to get out of that and go back onto uh, H.io. So go back there. That's pretty cool that that works. Now I'm just going to sit down again. I might possibly have to stand up again. But, uh, oh, where's that gone over there? Put this down here. Okay, so I'm going to go back up on H.io. I've tried the music of the peers probably won't work because that requires WCD controls. So that won't work. It might be interesting to try and add quest support for this music that appears to be fair. Because it would just be good. I, that'll probably show that you can... I'll try it anyway. But I should be able to um, do the gaze interactions with this. But in terms of the actual moving around, no. I don't think it'll work. So yeah, so I've got the city here. Cool. This is a generate city. It should work. But in terms of actually being able to fly around, I only implemented WSAD, so it won't work. And there we go. Okay. Oh! No, I can't do it. I can look around, so there's a city being generated. It's a bit of uh, struggling with the rendering, it's a bit slow. So the idea of this is like it's a music generative app. Uh, this would be worth me actually doing that, because this would be really cool if I could move around. And I think if I used the um, hand control, the quest controls to do that, even if I just add quest support that way, that'd be actually really interesting to be fair, because then I could fly around the scene. Um, again, it's randomly generated city blocks. Uh, looks pretty cool. A bit of snow falling there. Okay, well that's sort of confirmed what I already know, but there we go. So, go off that now. And we'll go on to uh, Barrowlands is basically just, I've 
been through that before. S yes. thirteen K by games. And then put superposition, I should find it. Super po there we go. I oh, know that one. That one. This has got a playable version of the game on it. This is a game I made for a game jam, so it's going to play. Now, hopefully, this will work. I'm definitely going to need to be able to move around over this. This is going to be hard. I'm probably going to lose straight away, but you know, that was fine. Oh, yeah, nice. It works out. So, avoid the red, looking at the reds. Yeah. Yeah, it works. It's a bit of a weird game, but the UI works as well, which is good. You can just like do this though, for like a minute. Unless I move my head around. This is one floor of this game actually. I'm interested to see what happens when the game loop ends. So the idea of this is like superposition particles. It's something I did in a week for a game jam. In fact the one I'm wearing on my t-shirt, the JSK games. Oop. So I'm on, currently on 39. A bit hard to see that though. It's too far off the screen to actually see it. Graphics look pretty good though, it looks a lot better in VR than it does on browser. Possibly it's just because of like literally just a verse, more immersive I guess. Okay, so the timer, what's that on? I can't read the UI, that's a bad thing. You can see that I've got 66 or something. But... It's just, I think they're just, I mean, they're randomly, from what I remember, I've randomly positioned them. But they're not uh, randomly, don't have, they're not really a random loop, so they always seem to go to the same position loop back, as you'll see there. So it's just basically a bunch of shapes on a loop. It's an interesting concept, though, I'm sure I could develop this further if I wanted to. But yeah, obviously the gaze, and then I won. Yay! Does it restart, though? It'll be interesting to see. Okay, so just basically just restarts the session, which is, yeah, it's a hack, but that's one way to go around it. Now I'm going to get out of it now, it's making me sick. It's definitely one that induces a lot of uh, motion blur, though. Um, motion blur, motion sickness, because it's just so so much movement on screen. This is moving on. There we go, move this back down here, I don't know what that happens. Okay, um... What else we got? A frame room creator, if it's got a demo. I'm not sure if it does. Again, no. Uh, okay, let's try this for VR. So I've got a component demo actually for VR. So let's try that. That's not a demo. That's the standard one, so it's not that. Possibly I just did. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is a demo I did ages ago. Just to, it's like a demo of actually what you can do within the the engine, but it doesn't have any gaze based movements, so it just allows you to look around. I can look. At, I can't do anything in it, but you can look around. So that's something. On the actual map itself, I doubt that'll work. It probably won't. It's good that I got links there though. So. Now, I'm pretty damn sure this won't work because this is based on. Um, it's basically got mouse controls in it. Oh, I can open thing. I can click. So I can simulate a click, which is good. And I can actually move around it. Okay. So I can move. I can move forward and back. Well, that's because I'm simulating it. I'm not in VR mode. So if I go back, let's just see if something like that will work for the VR demo I set up. In VR. Oh, that is a VR mode. So, yeah, okay. Uh, ah, so I can move around. Okay, cool. So there's a little bit of a basic VR session one set up based on a map that I created with the component. So, this is like a map editor and a scene previewing for, um, loop, I guess. This is a map that I created in the map editor. And then, yeah, I've got the component gaze component to be able to look around. So we can just do that. Very basic obviously, that's how textures are a bit stretched. That works, which is good. Again, it's a similar mechanic of having to gaze though, which is a bit 
of a neck breaker and if I don't know if I actually want to go here I have to move around physically turn around and I think there's a little bit of a bug where if you go here the sort of the movement breaks for some reason <laughs> not exactly sure why but and like I also haven't put much yeah so there we go oh and I just bumped into something Ooh. cool that's sort of like not bad, but it would need a lot of work, obviously. Quit, quit, quit. Right, so I'm moving under again because I've just figured out those URLs. Probably gonna have to switch in between a few times, but I know what the that those URLs exist now. Just get this recording first. And I go record. And it is well. So the first one is dot and I'll get help I'll have a look at the random art generator first because I'm very interested in seeing how this one works. So what is it again? Dot Noir get help bio. Not sure why it's not public actually. Dot Noir. I'm pretty sure I never made it so it wasn't last but there you go. Get help dot io. There's a forward slash yeah. Gen. Now hopefully this will work. I might be blocked with the access though, I'm not sure. Now it works good. Good, 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 good. Right, obviously it's put into VR mode. VR, yep. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I think the one I, So there's a random art, there's a random piece of art that's been generated there. Let me just stand up so I don't have the boundary showing there. I'm not sure how to do a new one though. I think it's there was a button added somewhere. Can't use the controls, obviously. Okay, well, sort of interesting, but obviously I need to have like an interactive button that I can gaze at to do for that to be truly work. Do that again, just refresh, and I'll get a completely random structure again. VR, no good VR. A bit of insulation there, which just happens at times because it's random. So the idea of this is you get like random texture allocation, random art sculptures, and you can just look at it. Though I'm pretty sure. This might, maybe this isn't the most up-to-date version because I did do a version that had gauge controls for randomizing and exporting, but possibly I've just forgotten it. That's quite a good one, honestly. So you get some interesting results of this because you get like, this for example looks pretty cool to be fair, um, but unfortunately, that actually looks pretty mint. No, that's a pretty nice one. So you do occasionally get really interesting results. But uh, obviously you do need a way to be able to do in-game, be able to generate a new one and also export out the models. Um, probably move them around. In fact, I might experiment with trying to get that to work because if I can get it to work the Quest 2, that's actually uh, you know fairly useful. You can drag objects, you can generate a random sculpture and then you can get it to, uh, you can actually Customize it a bit so it's actually got some use, right? So I'll refresh that again. See what that see another one. See a few variations. Let me just do that, yeah. That's another pretty interesting one to be fair. I'm not my boundary, I think. Get out that lean forward a bit. That's pretty good. I like that one. Yeah, you get a lot of like variations though, so yeah. Frickin' VR. I'm pretty sure it'll work in AR as well, I've never really tested it that much, but yeah, somewhat cohesive on that. Anyway, what's that? That works pretty well, so that's interesting. I'm going to go to render.com now, it's just out. Oh, I need to come out of this. So yeah, get out of this, break out the session. There we go. I'm going to go to render.com and yeah, cool. We're in action. Now, this is just a basic gaze interaction. The idea of it is you basically chatting to uh, Edgar Allan Poe, who will say some random bits of poetry. He is huge though, let me stand up man. He's huge. Okay, so it's working. What is that with the skybox though? The skybox moving with me for some reason. Well, that's like very disconcerting. He's huge as well. Not, <laughs> not the best angle really. Looks like I'm about to do something a bit rude. <laughs> I, well, you know what I think. Okay, I was never really insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched. Very nice, Edgar Allan Poe. 
there's no enemies that defeat us. The skybox though, why is that following the camera around? That's very odd. Blossom trees are quite nice with that. <laughs> skybox moving around is like weird. And the sound's not working for some reason. Oh, yeah, man, I feel dizzy from that. So the basic functionality works with that one, but bow to the pole. But the it's much more comfortable doing it this way, but it's a bit disconcerting because he's so huge. So the scaling's a bit off with that one, basically. So I think I'd probably have to like fix some bits of that really to have a proper experience and quit it. Uh, and then what was the last one I was going to check? Oh, I was going to check the chat room stuff. So I think that's on render too. So I can just keep. I think it's. It's like a 3D chat room. Very experimental. So it might be a bit broken, but chat 3D on render.com perfect. All one word. That's pretty easy to remember. Chat. And. Uh, I'm not sure, the, I'm pretty sure the movement's not going to work on this though. The idea of this is basically a chat room, it's got video streaming as well for webcam. Obviously a webcam isn't going to work on this thing because there isn't a webcam on the Oculus. Right. Uh, maybe, well, I don't know, maybe we'd like just show the pass through, I don't know, I honestly don't know actually. There we go, so that's cool. So I've got the, the basic interface here and I can select the different rooms, so I think we'll go for the Typical one first. I should definitely be able to switch into VR. Um, let's have a look. So, yeah, it's fine. Can use my microphone yet? Uh, yep, yeah. so that's actually working. Someone else in this scene would hear my, my voice, so I can look around. Obviously, no one else is here though, so the only way. Now, this will probably blow up my computer, so I'm not going to allow the microphone. But I'll try it actually because it's worth trying. I'll open it in another tab because it's the only way I can do it. I'll turn off the microphone. Um, just uh, I can allow it. I just don't want it on for now. So I just refresh that page again. I'll do refresh. Refresh now. So the CSS isn't going to work. So we're going to have to fix. But if I copy this, now this could go very wrong. Copy that. No, but shit. Ah, uh, right, it was a chat for. I can set up to a. It might create horrible feedback. Let's see, problem. But hey ho, science. On render. Dot com. There we go. So I set up. Basically, I'm going to go in. So in theory, I'm already in there in one session. I should log in there now. I should be. In and I can hear myself. It's a cacophony. So that works. Good. Good. The other guy is there. Is there? The, I, 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 <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Works. Works. That's cool. That's cool. And then if I go into the other tab, it's a bit awkward. This is awkward. Don't computer. Computer. <laughs> um, resume that one. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah. I don't want to create issues. You got a little, little. You see, there you also have the preview. Let's see, as I've got both open, it's very confusing though. Let's get to video. So this probably won't work. Yeah, obviously the UI goes away. If I go into VR mode, the UI, which is CSS, isn't going to work. Uh, but the video should work, so let me just get that one up. Chat 3D, chat. Still recording, yeah. And then I'll go to this one. Now there should be two users in, which is made both me, but again, I'll mute my mic as well, so that should hopefully work. And I'll just mute my mic. And uh, see if I can change my username. La 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 la, H, whatever, like, just try anything. Enter into VR. Oh, yeah, quit that one. Quit. So, I think probably because I just quit, I was the one's not there, but oh, it's still running, so I resume. Let's just have a look. Let's have a look. Unless I'm somewhere else, I'm not here. I could just be bugging out because it's obviously the video streaming. 
and there's no no uh, it's really be the type of thing I'd have to test with two users on it but anyway I think that'll do that's quite interesting actually just testing all that stuff out close yeah. close uh, test the bunch of stuff I wanted to test uh, I'm going to take this off because otherwise I'm going to be sick and I'll just stop the bit cruising on obviously that's good because I've identified a lot of stuff I need to fix on those uh, like prototypal VR apps it's a bit of a mix take this off now uh, I hope that was interesting um, I'm still getting used to VR and like how to best oh, uh, how to best tested it but yeah not too bad actually overall is it? it's good that having the ability to be able to test it like that because I can now figure out what needs fixing anyway, I hope you found that interesting if you know what I need like and subscribe if you like um, obviously I'm going to be doing a bit more VR development seeing as I've got this quest too now so 